Hello, this video will be a graduation card that I'm making for my cousin. This design can be used to do any number of occasion cards by just changing the paper that's used and perhaps picking different uh, pictures. This is a very short video, so let me go through the materials that I'll be using today. The papers that I'm using is I have a card base cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a pattern paper panel, which is cut two inches by five. I have two panels of white, which are cut four by five and a quarter. One panel of black cut at uh, two and a quarter by five. I have a scrap of white and a scrap of red and both of them are about two and a half, three inches. And you might could get away with not using this one. I'll, I'll explain that as I go. And a strip of gold metallic, which is about a half an inch. And I need about five and a half inches thereabouts. This is a little bit more than I need. The only stamp set I'm using today is the Paper Studio Graduation. This had a lot of different sentiments in it and it was very suitable for what I'm trying to do. I also have some stickers, uh, which I, I got these from uh, your big box store, and this is an EK success. I'll also be using Versifying Onyx Black, three markers, two uh, blue and one of yellow. This is Marvy markers. I'll need my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, and I also will need a Wink of Stella a glitter brush and this is gold. Let me clear this away and I'll show you. Oh, one other thing. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. I need two punches, a two inch punch and a two and a quarter inch circle punch. All right, let me clear this stuff away and I'll show you what how to do this. I'm going part. to do the stamping first. Now I have this piece of scrap to get this circle here, but in order to save paper, it is possible to take the circle punch and go in on the mat, which is this white piece of paper here, and carefully punch out the circle because it will be covered by this panel. But I didn't want to do that and it's quicker for me to just do it this way. So I'm going to just punch the circle out of this scrap. But that's always something you can do to save a little bit of paper. So I have this banner and I'm going to punch that in the black. I have a bowl here which I have a rag soaked with my cleaning solution and that's how I clean my stamps. There's a video on how to make that on my channel. So I also need two stars and I just tap my finger in that. Nails by Q Spa Nails. I want to give them a plug while I'm at it. And now a little cap. There. And now the inside, I already have my sentiments on the block. And that is all the stamping, believe it or not. I'm going to quickly go through and assemble the card.
Okay, now the only thing that remains is to do a little bit of coloring that this card needs. Now I'm going to go over the stars with the gold Wink Stella. I painted it yellow first because I wanted to not be so stark a change from the white to the gold. You didn't have to do that step at all. And I also want to add a little bit of gold around the hat band. Now I'm going to go over it all with my Wink Stella. I mean my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and make it all fancy smancy. Oh, that is needed. And this also uh, moves the color around a little bit, so it's helping to blend out the coloring mistakes that I made with the marker. Something to be aware of when you're using this pen, that it will move the color a little bit. And that's the card. Very, very fast, e even though I think it's very pretty. I'm very proud of my cousin, and I wanted to do a special card for him. I'd like to also give a special thank you to my brother, David Marsh, who has been providing me this wonderful music, which I'm using to pep up my videos a little bit. He's writing all of this music for me, especially. He's a wonderful musician. Please check out his channel. There's a link down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Take care.